we have here today our 2021 name dedication program. We have uh, Sil um, Silver Waters Production and WSCS Video Production here videoing this dedication today. At this time, I'd ask uh, Reverend Austindale from uh, Our Redeemer Church to give us an invocation. And veterans on cover. We pray. Lord of all nations, we gratefully acknowledge our total dependence upon your grace. Accept our thanks for those who have served for us, our prayers for those who mourn, our praise for the hope that you've given us. On this day of dedication, forgive us when our patriotism is hollow, when our allegiance is half-hearted. Stir within us thanksgiving for all that we've inherited and a willingness to sacrifice for fellow citizens. Comfort us with the joy that Christ died for those who have died for us, bringing life and immortality to light for those who believe in him. O Lord, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle in the hearts of all people a love of peace and guide those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward, till the earth be filled with the knowledge that deliverance comes not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Grant peace, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remain standing. <laughs> and uh, veterans, again, if, uh, if it's proper, let us uncover. For you that are wondering, the flag is at half-staff today, and the Governor Evers requested it. We are honoring our fallen firemen, and that's why it is at half-staff. So, I will, for us, to the flag is up past the tent here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to introduce Craig Stewart from our Veteran Service Office. Good afternoon. First, I'd like to thank the Sheboygan County Veterans Memorial Committee for their dedication in the monument and honoring Sheboygan County veterans. I'd also like to thank all of you for being here today and showing your support. As, as Alan mentioned, I'm from the County Veterans Service Office. So at the, the Veterans Service Office, we assist veterans and their families in obtaining local, state, and federal benefits. Some of these benefits include VA health care, disability, burial markers, and survivor's benefits. These claims can be tricky, so I always recommend working with a trained professional in putting these claims in. Our office has three accredited representatives ready to help. County Veteran Service Officer Todd Richter, Veterans Benefit Specialist Jonathan Belleville and myself. We're located at 650 Forest Avenue in Sheboygan Falls. We share a location with the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Sheboygan County. We can also be found on SheboyganCounty.com. In closing, I'd ask for your help today. I know many of you will know veterans that aren't in attendance today. Just ask them if they know what a county veteran service officer is, where we are, and tell them that we're here to help them. Tell them to give us a call, set up a time to come in and talk to us and see what we can provide for them. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to recognize the Sheboygan County Veterans Memorial Committee as I read your name off, I'd like you to stand. Jerry and Bonnie Benchwell. Katrina Clark. Dennis and Kathy Halloran. Deese and Bob Heilenthal. Ken Hemingway. Bob King. Philip Stenemeyer. Alan and Sue Noel. 
Vince Corbell, Darlene Myers absent, Lynette Runkin, Bradley Wenzel is absent, and also Barb Scolton. But this is the committee that works with me. Give me a hand. Um, as you walked in, you seen there was an information table there. Uh, stop by the table. We do have uh, models for sale of the memorial. Uh, just so you know, if you're thinking about it, you might want to buy it because the two you see on the table is the two that we have left at this point in time. I'd also like to thank the Pluma chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution who will also be handing out certificates. At this time, I'm going to have uh, Vince Corball do a presentation for uh, contributors to our memorial. Before I start uh, my introduction today, uh, there is a couple people that I would like to recognize in our audience today. Is uh, Commander Jeff Krakow here, please? Could you please stand and be recognized? Uh, I understand and I've heard it that the Department of Wisconsin Marine Corps League is having a conference here in Sheboygan and you've made our veterans uh, name dedication part of your conference agenda. Is that true? That's correct, sir. Then we welcome you and your fellow Marines. <laughs> no Ura? Ura! <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, that's better. Uh, I'd also like to recognize Scout Troop 851 for all of their help that they provided us today with setting everything up. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. And I would like to thank our local Honor Guard today. Uh, it's a unique Honor Guard because it consists of four Sheboygan posts. American Legion Post 555, the fabulous Triple Nickel. American Legion Post 83, VFW Post 9156, and Marine Corps League Detachment 1446. Please stand. And we also have post 387 for a bugler. Today marks our 27th name dedication ceremony and a lot of dedicated and general, generous people who have helped, have helped make this possible. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. Today, today we're honoring 108 veterans' names on our wall for a grand total of 3,847. To make this all possible, we gladly accept generous donations. And some of the people I'm going to recognize today have provided that whether it be uh, a, a monetary gift, whether it be through labor or through materials or a combination of all three of the above. The Veterans Memorial was conceived 27 years ago by veterans. It was funded by veterans, <coughs> excuse me. It was funded by veterans. It was built by veterans in honor of Sheboygan County veterans. And this afternoon, we'd like to thank some of those people that have made today possible. We have the Ivy League Garden Club, Lynette Raken, Judy Salzwaldo, Kathy and Tim George. Thank you. We have Newman Plumbing, Matt Buttercaker. Thank you. 
Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office, Navy, Navy Army Veteran, Todd Richter. Also from the Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office, Coast Guard Veteran Craig Stewart. And also from the Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office, Coast Guard Veteran Jonathan Belleville, who could not be here. Acuity Insurance, our Air Army veteran, Trisha Bergen. <laughs> Marine Corps League 1446, Marine Corps veteran, Kirk Anderson. Jason Kahns. IBEW Local 494, Mike Zimmerman. <laughs> Evans Pest Control, Jessica Sedittman. And then also we'd like to recognize um, those who could not be here, the Christensen family and Cautious Equipment. Thank you for your generous donations and contributions to the Shabbat County Veterans Memorial. On that same note, I'd like to thank uh, Craig Runkin for the sound system here today. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, we come to the moment in time here where we want to do, uh, dedicate our names. We have the names split up in four groups, so you all should have gotten something in the mail. When your group is up, we want you to form up and back by that Veterans Memorial and uh, get in line because we have the names somewhat in order. Uh, Dennis Halloran and Kal Katrina Klott are going to be your coordinators. Katrina is back there, uh, Dennis is on the move. Okay, Group A, form up, please. And again, uh, when you for, uh, come up here for your certificate, at uh, least pause for a few seconds to uh, get a picture taken. Now we will have the reading of the names by Denise Hallenkenthal and Kathy Heller. In Group A, um, Gordon Obler, World War II, Navy. This is his son accepting, yes. Edward Ardell, Vietnam, US Army. Alan L. Arndt, Vietnam, Navy, and his son Jonathan Arndt, Iraq, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, and the Marine Corps and the Air Force. If you'd like a father-son picture taken, you can pause, Ellen. We 
We certainly will be flexible. I'll try to call up family groups. And if you want a picture together, we certainly can do that. Or Jonathan? Yes. James J. Birch, Vietnam Marine Corps. Gerald A. Bogenschutz, Peacetime Army Reserves, and Jesse J. Bogenschutz, Peacetime Army Reserves. David M. Brish, Cold War Navy. <laughs> Barney Conalloy, World War II, U.S. Coast Guard. James W. Christ, Vietnam, U.S. Navy. Adrian Diziu, World War II, U.S. Navy. Donald I. Dietrich, World War II, U.S. Army. <laughs> William D. Fenner, World War II, Army Airborne. Armand Furman, Korea and Vietnam, U.S. Army. John Fields, Vietnam era, Army, U.S. Army. I'm sorry, your Navy, we had the wrong branch. Richard L. Franco Boyce, Vietnam, U.S. Army. Group B can start heading back to line up. Group B. Henry J. Franzen, Peacetime, U.S. Marine Corps. Robert George Frey, World War II, U.S. Navy. John B. Guerin, Vietnam, U.S. Army.
Brian J. Gatowski, Operation Enduring Freedom, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Donald E. Graves, Korea, U.S. Marine Corps. George A. Hain, World War II, U.S. Army. <laughs> Thomas J. Haler, Vietnam, U.S. Army. Gary L. Herber, Vietnam, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Michael L. Hess, World War II, U.S. Army. Benjamin Hesslink, Gulf War, United States Army. Wendell Hoffman, Peacetime, U.S. Army. James F. Holden, Sr., Vietnam era, Navy. Kenneth L. Kallenberg, World War II, Army Air Corps. Donald W. Kohlberg, World War II, Navy. And Robert D. Kohlberg, Vietnam era, Air Force. Carl L. Korb, Civil War, Army.
Daniel W. Krieger, Desert Storm, Air Force. Melvin E. Kulo, Korea Army. <laughs> Carl G. Humbalek, World War II, Navy. Samuel Levanway, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Marine Corps. Okay. Warren E. Ladwig, World War II, Army. Earl R. Buss, World War II, Army. <laughs> Jerome D. Lamb, Vietnam, Air Force. And Mark A. Lamb, Vietnam, Marine Corps. Actually, those were some family fun gatherings. <laughs> James A. Longamac, Korea Army. Taylor E. Leon, Army. Lowell J. Leanhart, World War II, Army. And Robert L. Leanhart, Vietnam era, Army. David C. Meyer, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Army. <laughs> Alfred C. Miller, World War II, <laughs> Army Air Force. And if Group C could please start staging in the back, see Dennis or Katrina. Menroy H. Miller, Korea, Air Force. Gilbert E. Miller, Korean Era, Army. 
and William T. Miller, Korean era Army. Andrew J. Molkentine, Vietnam Marine Corps. And Harry J. Molkentine, Vietnam Marine Corps. Vernon W. Castell, Vietnam Army. And let's start Group C. Julius T. Miller, Korea, U.S. Army. Families are great. Family photos are great. Sterling A. Miller, Persian Gulf and Desert Storm, U.S. Army. Edward Miller, World War II, U.S. Army. We have a group of, of four. Harvey A. Meyer, World War II, U.S. Army. James, James E. Miller, Vietnam, U.S. Army. And Kenneth A. Jr. Meifert, Vietnam, United States Air Force. James S. Monroe, Desert Storm, United States Army. Neil Allen Thomas, Vietnam, United States Air Force. Paul J. Nurek, Vietnam, United States Marine Corps. John A. Apka North, Vietnam, United States Army.
Robert J. Otto, World War II U.S. Army. Tom Post, Vietnam, U.S. Army. Elmer Rush, POW, World War II, Army Ranger. Alfonso A. Reed, World War II in Korea, United States Marine Corps. And Group D can move back to the staging area. Group D, our last group. Wallace J. Ruppel, peacetime. United States Army. <laughs> Howard H. Suss, World War II United States Army. Raymond J. Schmidt, Korea, United States Navy. Schneider, Vietnam, U.S. Army. <laughs> Carl E. Schrader, Vietnam era, United States Navy. Timothy F. Schrader, Operation Iraqi Freedom, U.S. Army. <laughs> Timothy Schrader, Cuban Missile Crisis, United States Army. And Charles A. Schumacher, World War II, United States Navy. So we're never quite sure. We're never quite sure when we have family groups that sign up together whether we should call you all up here at once or individuals. So we're working through it, aren't we? Okay. You don't want any individual, they're doing good? Okay, thank you. Eugene W. Sh Schutte, World War II, are we missing one? Schumacher, I'm sorry. Charles A. Schumacher, World War II, U.S. Navy. I'm sorry. Oh. Now, again, Eugene W. Schutte, World War II U.S. Navy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, call the one nurse, call the one. Okay. okay. Richard C. Siebold, Vietnam, U.S. Army. Annalise Summerfield, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, United States Marine Corps. And collecting it for his daughter. And Stephen Summerfield, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and the U.S. Marine Corps. Gary R. Spettel, Vietnam era, United States Navy. James P. Stoltzman, Vietnam era, United States Army. Gary R. Tempest, Vietnam Army. We've got Ivan J. Tempest and James L. Tempest. Uh, Ivan J. Tempest is World War II Army, and James L. Tempest is Vietnam era Army. Brandon J. Thurmiller, Peacetime, Navy. What do we need then? Let's to, uh, to yes. Russell S. Topple, Vietnam, Marine Corps. <laughs> Norman A. Trumpy, Korea, Marine Corps. We have a group of three, Frank J. Valkus, World War II, Army Air Force, Joseph J. Valkus, World War II, Army Air Force, and Richard P. Valkus, Vietnam Era National Guard. Alan, do you have Veldboom there too? Right? William L. Veldboom, Vietnam era National Guard. Okay. Do they get that one too? Ask them. Is there William Veldboom? No. William L. Veldboom? No. no. Okay, thank you. Gary M. Verhag, Vietnam era Air Force. Wall, excuse me, Charles A. Wallace, 
Korea Army. Mark D. Weidman, Operation Enduring Freedom, Air Force. Warren C. Wentz, Korea Army. We have a group of five. I'll read all the names. Anthony M. Werner, World War II, Navy. Timothy B. Werner, Korea Army. Anthony M. Werner, Korea Army. And again, Anthony M. Werner, Peacetime Air Force. And Kevin J. Werner, Peacetime Marine Corps. <laughs> Gary L. Wilkins, Vietnam Army. <laughs> Melvin E. Wilson, Vietnam Army. Jeffrey A. Winkle, Cold War, Navy. Came to the fan club today. Noel Wincher, Vietnam, Navy. Roger A. Winterberg, Korea Air Force. And last but not least, we have Mark Zank, Vietnam Marine Corps. For you to, oh, you that were counting, that was 108 names we've added on to our memorial. All right, at this time, I'm going to ask you all to stand, and we're going to sing God Bless America. I'm not a real good singer, but I'll try to start this off, and I want you all to join in and help me out here. All right. God bless America. When that I love, stand beside her and guide her with the light, with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the ocean. God bless 
standing at this time I'm going to ask the Marine Corps League and we're going to do military honors for the 13 fallen soldiers at Kabul. Commander. Good afternoon everyone. I thank you all for coming. Um, this has been a, a great experience for us. Uh, you have a wonderful memorial here. You're doing really good things here in Sheboygan. I want to also thank uh, Laura Townsend for notifying me of this celebration so that we could come and help out. Um, I have a good contingent of my Marines here. I say my Marines, but we're all, we're all one. It just happens to be I'm the head guy at this point. <laughs> I thank you all again for coming. And uh, it's been wonderful knowing that there's so many names on here. Uh, now at this point, we're, we're gonna be at kind of a somber moment right now. We are honoring 13 fallen warriors that uh, lost their lives in Afghanistan. Um, the reason it means so much for us is there were 11 Marines of those 13 and one corpsman assigned to Marines. Uh, as they fold the flag, I will be reading names once they get to the point where they're making it a, into a triangle. There are 13 folds, so each fold will be assigned one name. I'm going to read the rank, name, branch, age, and hometown of those fallen. First fold goes to Lance Corporal David L. Espinoza, United States Marine Corps, 20 years old, from Rio Bravo, Texas. Sergeant Nicole L. Gee, United States Marine Corps, 23, from Roseville, California. Staff Sergeant Darren T. Hoover, United States Marine Corps, 31, from Salt Lake City, Utah. Staff Sergeant Ryan C. Knus, Army, 23, from Knoxville, Tennessee. Corporal Hunter Lopez, United States Marine Corps, 22, from India, Indio, California. Lance Corporal Dylan R. Marola, United States Marine Corps, 20, Ranch Cucamonga, California. Lance Corporal Riley J. McCollum, United States Marine Corps, 20, from Bondurant, Wyoming. Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nikwai, United States Marine Corps, 20, from Norco, California. Corporal Dagan W. Page, United States Marine Corps, 23, from Omaha, Nebraska. Sergeant Johanny Rosario Pica, United States Marine Corps, 25, from Lawrence, Massachusetts. Corporal Humberto A. Sanchez, United States Marine Corps, 22, Logansport, Indiana. Lance Corporal Jared M. Smith, United States Marine Corps, 20, St. Charles, Missouri. And Corpsman Maxton W. Soviak, United States Navy, 22, from Berlin Heights, Ohio. Now as we close this, 
we're going to have a rifle salute and play taps. And as we do that, since we're rendering recognition of these fallen warriors, I'm going to ask you to render a hand salute or civilians put your hand over your hearts throughout the rifle salute and the taps. The commands will be hand salute and then to, when we end it'll be ready to. Attendees, hand salute. Ready? Two! At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Austin Dill to give us a benediction. The veterans, on cover. Lord, you granted governments the power of the sword and the responsibility to maintain justice and order in this sinful world. Guide and direct those entrusted with leadership to do your will as they chart our countries, our state, and our city's course and work for peace among the family of nations. Watch over and care for those currently serving in our armed forces, especially those from our community and surrounding area. Bless and comfort those who have served and sacrificed for our nation in the past. We commit them to your keeping. Bless their families, fill them with pride in their service and sacrifice, and give them your comfort. In the grace of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of you, our Heavenly Father, and the presence of your Holy Spirit be with us now and always. Amen. <laughs>